What's up, everybody? Mr. HD here, and we are back again. We build drift to kill it. I apologize if you're viewing this at like 10 o'clock at night or 11 o'clock at night or, or early in the morning. Um, I felt really behind um, Thursday night. I was supposed to come home and do this video, and then I was going to go to a friend's house, but I got called. I got you know, didn't get called in the work, but he asked me to stay later than expected. And when really we want to bail on them to go play video games, because that's just I know it's you guys come first, but. You know, I gotta have a life too. Um, what we did this week was probably the biggest challenge I've ever set myself, um, considering what I was limited to build wise. I built a DMC DeLorean, or DeLorean DMC 12, I don't know what the official title is. I built a DeLorean. <laughs> um, and uh, I had one force of three, uh, I had like 550 horsepower, I really liked it. Everyone's like, whoa, Mandalorian, whoa, but like, it, 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 it actually turned out to be, uh, not so bad, uh, not so bad, but, um, in this game, it's not for the faint of heart, uh, it's not for the beginner to intermediate, uh, drifter, it is very, very difficult to use, it's, uh, not easy to tune, um, I, that, usually that, I put on my, uh, my mid-engine tune, and, uh, nope, uh, the chassis is fine, but I don't have enough power. I don't have uh, to, to push through long corners like here. I'm just using weight transfer. Um, I don't can't don't really push through the turn. Um, and also, I don't I, after play, uh, using this car, I don't find this game realistic because I'm going over 80 miles per hour and I'm <laughs> not disappear. Um, and I, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. But um, even the results you guys can see, like usually if I lose in these videos, I don't lose by much. And I got, I think I lost by like 30 or 35,000 points. Um, so I would like to think that there's about a 15,000 point gap in skill for me to lose to somebody. But um, I wouldn't lose by this much. Um, the car, it just seemed like it didn't have enough power. Um, I think it, I had like 440 or 450. To me, it just needed that extra... 50 horsepower or 75 horsepower is so close. It just needed a little bit more, um, and you know it may work for you guys, but it, to me it didn't. It, it didn't really work. But um, you can see on these smaller corners, I didn't really have lots of problems. Uh, but I, it's really on those big sweepers where I I lost a lot of uh, I lost a lot of um, potential points. But uh, the car itself felt great. Like the actual chassis and the suspension and how it felt felt awesome. It's just that I think the engine. Um, lets this car down big time, and because uh, it, it's relatively light, it's like 24, 2500 pounds. It's not really a lot of weight, all things considered. Um, it's a good-looking car. It's 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 fun to use because it's the DeLorean, right? And you could just shout, "Oh, great Scott!" every time you do anything. Um, but it it just sucks that um, the engine's that bad as to where it ruined the car. Um, Usually, I don't know, I think this is like the first negative review I've ever given, like the you know, first time I've said like don't go out and build this, because like I've said this for a couple weeks in a row, I was like, yeah, I mean, go out, try this car, build your own, and use my tune, whatever. Don't use my tune if you're planning to build this, because it's not done. Um, I need to fix this a hell of a lot more to get it to work, if it will work. Um, I tried the twin turbos in this, the twin turbos sound awesome in this, by the way, but uh, I tried the twin turbos in this. And uh, I don't, I don't think that the supercharger, the centrifugal supercharger, will ha help uh, a lot in terms, uh, in compared to the uh, regular or the, the the twin turbo. But honestly, 50 more horsepower in this car would have been usable. But at the point it's at now, I can't see myself using this in lobbies. Like maybe just once or twice, just to you know, hey guys, look what I got, type thing. Um, but not as a serious, you know, kind of car to use to actually compete in anything. Um, I'm going to try uh, making the rear tires more narrow. Um, but I think that would ruin the overall feel of the car, which again was great. Like, it held lots of angle, very, very stable. Um, usually with mid-engine cars, I feel like they're all over the place. They're not this one. This one just felt nice, planted, solid. Um, but again, it's just a shame that... Uh, the car can be let down by, you know, 50, 60 horsepower, but, you know, it's the way it goes. Sometimes you have cars that have a thousand horsepower that shouldn't, and then some cars we want just a little bit more, and this, you know, Forza works in mysterious ways, my friends. Um, 
So, again, usually I recommend my cars to you guys, but this one, um, I don't know, maybe just stay away from it. It's a, I don't know how expensive the car is, I don't know how expensive the build is, but it's it's definitely not uh, going to be your next best drift car. Um, it's not the hardest car in the world, but it's not um, my favorite car in the world. It's not my favorite. Uh, I don't really like using it. I was getting pissed off in this lobby, mostly because I was losing. Um, but, you know, I, I got beat straight up. They were, they were using regular cars, using regular tires. I checked. I, just, I got beat. It just happens. But, um, you know, it just... And there's a bump in that there, there. That's why I kept going off. I kept trying to string all these corners, and I kept hitting a bump. But, um, you know, if you really want a challenge, try to build one of these. But uh, if you just want an, like a, a new, different drift car that works, um, I recommend you stay away from this, just because it's not going to work as well as an NSX or something, or an MR2. So, uh, thank you guys for watching. Um, I'm glad to get this one out of the way, because a lot of people wanted to see it. And uh, I'll see you in the next video. Have a good weekend. Be sure to follow me on Twitter, it's where I'll announce open lobbies or look for people to play with, answer questions, and update you on the latest happenings of Le Arrow.